Hello everyone. So let's get into the topic that is hormonal regulation of the spermatogenesis. In both male and females, the reproductive cycles and gametogenesis are controlled by the interaction of the hormones such as hypothalamic hormones, pituitary hormones and the gonadal hormones. So in case of both the male and female, the hypothalamus controls and causes the release of the anterior pituitary hormones such as LH and FSH. So these hormones are being secreted from the anterior pituitary and thereafter they act upon the gonads such as testis as well as the ovary thereby making or bringing about the changes in case of perspective gonads. So, Let's get into the topic that is hormonal regulation of spermatogenesis. So in the earlier videos we have discussed that spermatogenesis is basically the process of formation of the haploid male gamete from the diploid reproductive cell that is spermatogonia in the testis. So as you know that entire process of spermatogenesis occurs in the seminiferous tubule of the testis. So, how this entire process of spermatogenesis will occur, what are the changes are being seen, so that we have discussed in the earlier videos. So, in today's video, we will be discussing how the spermatogenesis is being regulated by the various hormones. So, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus basically uh, organ, which is a part of a brain. So, this hypothalamus mainly secretes two types of hormone. First one is called as the releasing hormones, the other one is called as inhibiting hormones. So this hypothalamus controls the anterior pituitary which was said to be the master gland. So as the hypothalamus is regulating, controlling the anterior pituitary, hypothalamus is being said to be the master of the master gland or you can say commander of the pituitary gland. So in case of the pituitary, the entire pituitary is being divided into three parts as you know. First one is called as the pars distalis, pars intermedia and the last one is called as pars nervosa. Where pars distalis is responsible for secreting six different types of hormone, pars intermedia secretes a hormone and pars nervosa only stores a hormone. So how the hormones will regulate the spermatogenesis, so that we will discuss. So, once after a male attains a puberty, the reproductive organ that is testis requires a hormone for the formation of the sperm. At that time, the gonad that is testis sends a signal to that of the hypothalamus. Thereby, the hypothalamus releases a hormone that is called as gonadotropin releasing hormone. Now, this hormone acts upon the anterior pituitary and directs the anterior pituitary to release two of its hormone. One is the luteinizing hormone, the other one is the follicle stimulating hormone. Where the luteinizing hormone acts upon the interstitial cells, where these are the cells which are being located in between the seminiferous tubules. So this LH acts upon those interstitial cells or leading cells and thereafter this LH will uh, secrete or make the leading cell to secrete the hormone called as testosterone. As this hormone, luteinizing hormone is stimulating the leading cells or interstitial cell, this LH is also called as ICSH which means interstitial cell stimulating hormone as it is stimulating the interstitial cell for the release or secretion of the testosterone. Thereby, on another form, so here the anterior pituitary even releases the follicle stimulating hormone. So this follicle stimulating hormone acts upon the pyramidal cells in the seminiferous tubule, those are Sertoli cells and thereby these Sertoli cells will secrete the inhibin. Along with inhibin, there is release of an another hormone or a protein called as androgen binding protein. Now what are these 
hormones are being responsible for so here the testosterone which is being secreted by the lady cell so this testosterone is mainly involved in the first step that is the spermatogenesis which means it uh, stimulates the production of the sperm so this production of the sperm is being entirely facilitated by the androgen binding protein secreted from the sertoli cell so the name itself will tell you it is androgen binding protein which means this protein binds to that of the androgen so that is testosterone and thereafter it stimulates the process of spermatogenesis second function here is of the testosterone is testosterone is responsible for secondary sexual characters in males as we have discussed previously in earlier videos that uh, secondary sexual characters in male are like uh, deepening of the voice growth of the axillary hair or the pubic hair okay so cracking of the voice all those are being regulated by testosterone next is testosterone is involved in erythropoiesis where testosterone stimulates the kidney for the secretion of the erythropoietin and when the erythropoietin levels will increase so that erythropoietin is responsible for the formation of rbc and thereafter is the testosterone is also involved in growth and development of the bones and muscles muscles where the testosterone acts upon the skeletal muscles thereby increasing in the size of those skeletal muscles and uh, testosterone acts upon the epiphyseal plates of the bones thereby increasing the length so henceforth so bone and muscle growth is being completely uh, depending upon the testosterone as soon as a male attains a puberty so thereafter as the testosterone is mainly involved in the spermatogenesis testosterone increases the process of spermatogenesis but once the testosterone level starts increasing when the testosterone levels becomes more and more high in concentration then that high concentration of the testosterone gives a negative feedback to the anterior pituitary or hypothalamus so as i have written here increased secretion inhibits gnrh lh and fsh production so that increased production of the testosterone gives a negative feedback thereby the secretion and release of gnrh is being inhibited and if gnrh is being inhibited then there is no possibility of the anterior pituitary releasing its hormones those are fsh and lh on the other hand the sertoli cells which are responsible for secreting androgen binding protein which is stimulates the process of the spermatogenesis when the sperm production increases in the testes so sertoli cell secretes an another hormone that is called as inhibin so this inhibin okay when the sperm production increases so this inhibin gives a negative feedback to hypothalamus or anterior, anterior pituitary which means this also inhibits or suppresses the fsh secretion so thereby once the gnrh release or fsh uh, release is being inhibited then then the process of spermatogenesis starts decreasing so what happens here is once the sperm production decreases up to 20 million up to 20 million per ml okay so at that time this sertoli cell ceases or stops the release of the inhibin so which means thereafter fsh again starts getting released from the anterior pituitary thereafter the sperm production again increases so that is we say that the entire the hormonal control or the regulation of the spermatogenesis is being regulated by hypothalamic hormone anterior pituitary hormone and thereafter is the gonadal hormone so this is how the entire spermatogenesis is being regulated controlled thank you